Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 2 1 win over Braintree Town. How are you feeling off that one, Adam? No, yeah, obviously, um, a massive three points. Um, you know, I thought we played some really good stuff. Um, chucked a slight tweak of shape. Um, Danny Barker had a couple of rolls to do for us in that possession, and you know, I thought the players have took it on board and implemented exactly what we wanted to do. I thought we created lots and lots of chances, got the ball into the final third a lot, and then to go 1-0 down, um, you know, full credit to the players, they showed a lot of character to, to keep going, uh, keep believing and yeah, it's good to um, come through and get the three points in then. Yeah, given the chances that were missed at the start of the game, there's some big chances and then they, they go down the other end on the, on the counter-attack. Must have been such, such a good bit of uh, character from the players to pick up from that and keep going the way they did. No, exactly that. Um, you know, after a very dominant home performance last one. Um, it had been very easy to get a little bit complacent today and you know, I don't think they, they showed any of that at all and um, you know, showed a lot of professionalism to, to keep going. You know, it was a completely against the run of the play. Don't think they created too much um, you know, first half apart from you know from our own corner so definitely something for us to look at there. We've got to be better there in that situation but um, you know, like I say, full credit to, to the whole of the squad to, to stick together and, and show a bit of um, you know, a bit of resolve and a, and a good mentality to, to come through. You mentioned uh, Danny Barker playing a few different roles there. What was the thinking behind that? You had um, Barry and Rye on the bench, but Barker, as you said, played a bit of a, a free role. What was the thinking behind that? Um, I just feel like when we come up against playing um, a team that plays with two strikers, um, we struggle to sort of take control in the games. It's where it's been very easy for teams to go like man for man and we maybe struggled a little bit in them games. So yeah, just wanted us to take a bit more control by having an extra player um, at the back when we was playing out. Um, and yeah, sometimes, you know, you get those decisions right, sometimes they don't come off. Um, but I'm fortunate that I've got the group of players that I that I have that you can you can as a manager, you know, try these these things and, and like I say, sometimes you get them right, sometimes you don't. If if we don't win today, then you know there's a lot of question marks towards me, and, and rightly so. So, you know, I'm pleased that, that the players have, have dug in and um, you know implemented what we wanted to do really well. And it works in the end. What performance across the board? Who are a few of the players that stuck out for you today? Um, yeah, obviously H's save at the end is is, is massive. Um, you know, he's it's not that much to do. So um, when he was called upon, I thought he was excellent, and he'd been. A bit of a, um, a massive disappointment for him to concede two goals today um, for how much he was he was needed. But um, you know, some of his passing as well from the back was good. Um, but yeah, it, I don't know. It's hard to pinpoint one player. Um, you know, David and Nibby didn't take the chances today. Um, but you know, the work rate they got through. Um, you know, Josh come back in who hasn't been in the starting lineup for a while. Danny Bark hasn't been in the starting lineup for a while, and to still have that level of performance, I thought was was really good to see. Yeah, it was excellent across across the entire squad. Just to um, touch on something more personal for you, um, your son Jack getting a new contract at Brighton. How are you feeling uh, after that sort of news? It must be great news across the family. Oh yeah, obviously. Uh, Delighted for him. Uh, he's worked tirelessly this season. It's been a really good season for him. Um, but you know, now's the time to, to ramp everything up. Um, you know, he doesn't want to just sit on a three-year deal and you know put his slippers on and feet up. He, you've got to go and work and um, be even better now. Um, but you know, it's, I think that first contract um, to sign it when you're a youngster and for. You know, a club of Brighton's stature to show um, that kind of belief in, in him is, is obviously nice to see. Obviously, you know, it's, it means a lot because I come through the same club and the same academy, and you know, I've got um, you know, a good uh, relationship with the club and always look out for the results because they're being an, an old club. And um, yeah, obviously, to, to see your son sign there is it's, it's really rewarding, but you know, I'm just delighted for. His hard work has been rewarded, and you know now it's time to work even harder and, and try and push to to get some starts in the first team. Pivot back to Worthing. Um, it was a big win today. There was a lot of results that didn't quite go our way today, but it was a massive three points in the running. 
how are you feeling now going into these final four games? No, yeah, we just got to uh, focus on ourselves. I know it's you know going to sound really cliche, and you're going to want to hear us that you know we've got to push for the playoffs. But you know, myself and, and the players are focused now very quickly, uh, which is to Tuesday night and another big game. And the professionalism we need to show, we need to be ultra professional. We need to um, rest, recover, and be ready to go to 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 provide another performance of that quality and, and demand even more from ourselves. Um, those little naive bits that we showed at times, we've got to eradicate them from our games and 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 be even more clinical uh, on Tuesday night. But um, you know, that's a it's a great place to be. Um, you know, the weather's heating up a little bit. We're getting towards the end of April and we've still got loads to play for. Um, so it's a it's a really, really good place to be and you know we've got a relationship. Congratulations thank you very much. Cheers, thanks.